हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज श्वेता एंड वेलकम टू वी एल एस आई पॉइंट सो गाइस इन प्रीवियस वीडियोस वी हैव जस्ट कंप्लीटेड द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ एच सो देयर वी हैव स्टडीड व्हाट इज वेरी लॉग व्हाट इज वी एच डी एल व्हाट इज द बेसिक डिफरेंस नाउ फ्रॉम चैप्टर वन विल स्टार्ट द डेटा टाइप्स सो वॉट इज द डेटा टाइप एंड विच टाइप ऑफ डेटा टाइप्स आर सपोर्टेड बाय द वेरी लॉग so we'll study all these things so if you have not subscribed my channel till now then please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon to get all the notification of my channel so without any delay let's get start with today's lecture so guys talking about the data types so a data type in programming is a classification that specifies which type of value a variable has and what type of mathematical relation like logical operation or arithmetic operation we can apply to it so that it will not cause any error in the system so this is about the data type now talking about the data type supported by the very log then there are mainly two data types register and net so one by one we'll cover so starting from register data type so register data types are mainly used to store the values it holds the value but it doesn't mean that it's going to produce hardware register this data type is totally different from hardware register it is simply a data type which can hold a value until we assign a new value to it it is commonly declared by the keyword reg and the default value of reg data type is unknown which is x in register data type there are different classes like reg integer real time so we'll cover in upcoming lectures so now we are moving towards net data type so nets represent the connection between the hardware elements and it must be continuously driven mean to say it cannot be used to store the values nets are declared primarily with the keyword wire and the default value is z uh, again the net data type has different classes like wire then wired and wired or try try and try or try reg so we'll cover all these classes in upcoming lectures so now we are moving towards values and signal strength so verilog supports four different value levels and these are 0 1 x and z so 0 represents logic 0 means false condition 1 represents logic 1 which is true condition x represent unknown logic and z represents high impedance so this is about the value levels now talking about the strength levels so verilog support eight different strength levels and these are supply strong pull large weak medium small and high z and here in this table you can see the strength level is increasing from bottom level to top level means as we are moving from bottom to up the strength level is increasing now the twist is that when we apply two different strength level signals as a input to the wire then this higher strength level signal will be reflected at the output and when we apply the same strength level signals as a input to the wire in that condition the output will be unknown so you can understand from this figure in first example i have given two inputs supply 1 and pull 1 and you can see at output the supply 1 has reflected and the reason is supply 1 has a higher strength level as compared to the pull 1 in second example i have given two inputs strong 1 and strong 0 since both the signals are in same strength level so in output there is unknown value so yes i was talking about these two conditions 
now we are moving towards the last topic of today's lecture which is port assignments so we have three different types of ports input output and in out inputs and outputs are unidirectional however in out ports are bidirectional in nature talking about the input port so within the module it is of wire data type but externally when we assign any variable to this port then it can be of reg or net data type now talking about the output port so yes internally it can be of reg or net data type but externally it is always be of net data type that is wire data type now in in out ports it is always be of wire data type it we can never assign reg data type to the in out port so this is all about the port assignment so by this we have completed today's lecture i hope you guys just got all the points if you have any doubt you can tell me in the comment section and if you like the video then please hit the like button and share the video with your friends i'll come with some interesting topics of data types till then goodbye take care